Today, we're diving into the exciting updates from the Washington Commanders. They've started their offseason with a bang, and it seems like things are just heating up. They've brought on some top-notch people to fill important roles in their coaching team, and it's looking like we're going to see some big changes, not only in how they call plays, but in many other areas. For all you Commanders fans out there, hit that subscribe button to keep up with everything happening this offseason. So, let's get back to talking about the Commanders. After a season that didn't quite live up to what we hoped for, they've ended up with the second pick in the draft, which has everyone wondering what's next. The season started with promise, but didn't quite turn out well, especially for quarterback Sam Howell. As the season went on, the initial excitement around Howell started to wane, a lot because of the team's overall struggles and some of Howell challenges on the field. But it's not all on Howell. Sure, he had his struggles, like holding onto the ball too long and making risky throws that ended in too many interceptions. But the team had other big issues too, like problems with the offensive line. Still, because of how things went for Howell, it seems like there's a general agreement that the commanders are looking for a new quarterback in the draft. Now, the big question is, who will they pick as their next quarterback? This became an even bigger deal after they let go of Ron Rivera, their head coach, Rivera fire wasn't a shock for many, given the team poor performance under his lead. His coaching style seemed a bit old school, and he wasn't able to get the team motivated or bring about the kind of culture change that was needed. This opened up an exciting chance for the commanders to bring in a new head coach during what's being called one of the most exciting coaching cycles in a long time. But then, their first choice for head coach, Ben Johnson, decided to stay with the Detroit Lions which put the commanders in a tricky spot. After missing out on other potential candidates, they ended up choosing Dan Quinn, a decision that had people feeling all sorts of ways. But let's look at why this might be a great move. Dan Quinn is well known for his time with the Atlanta Falcons and the Dallas Cowboys, bringing a ton of experience with him. Despite the tough loss at the Super Bowl after being way ahead, it's important to remember that Quinn managed to get his team to the big game, which is impressive. Plus, his work with the Cowboys' defense turned them into one of the best in the league. This shows that Quinn could be the kind of change and leader the commanders need. When Quinn joined the Cowboys, he took their defense from one of the worst to a powerhouse, getting them to rank in the top seven for points allowed per game in his first season, and then even higher after that. This amazing turnaround shows what Quinn can do, not just as a head coach, but also as a strategist for the defense. Surprisingly, some people doubted Quinn's hiring, given his track record. With the 2024 season coming up, it looks like the commander's defense is set to get much better, which should help take some pressure off their young quarterback and make winning more realistic. On one hand, we have Dan Quinn's hiring, and on the other, Joe Witt Jr. is coming in as defensive coordinator, which keeps things consistent since he's worked with Quinn before. But the commanders are also making big moves on offense parting ways with Eric Bieniemy and bringing in Cliff Kingsbury. Kingsbury's got an innovative mind for offense, even if his time with the Arizona Cardinals was a bit up and down. His work improving Kyler Murray's game shows what he could do for the commander's future quarterback. The excitement around Kingsbury joining is even bigger because of his recent work with Caleb Williams at USC. Kingsbury jump from almost going to the Las Vegas Raiders to signing with the commanders seems like a strategic move to draft Williams, who's not just quick on his feet, but great at making plays happen out of nowhere. This move suggests the commanders aren't just looking for any new quarterback, they want the best, Caleb Williams. The thought of Williams joining the commanders is really exciting, especially with his good relationship with Kingsbury already in place. This could mean a smooth transition into the team's offense and a big boost right away. Plus, with talented receivers like Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel, there's a solid base for a young quarterback to do well. The Commanders might even try to trade up for the first overall pick to get Caleb Williams, a move that could change their future. While it's still speculation, this fits with the strategic moves they've been making and could set the team on a successful new path. What do you all think about the Commanders' off-season moves and the potential of getting Caleb Williams? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please drop a comment below. Stay tuned for more updates, and I'll catch you in the next video.